Hey guys, what's going on? Gary here. Got another video here on the UCM 6302. If you checked out the past videos, I just did a video on setting up a zip trunk. Uh, now I'm going to show extension setup and inbound and outbound route. Um, I just logged into UCM. Uh, you can see here it, it prompts you for an alert that emergency calling has not been configured. Uh, click here to configure now. Um, I'm going to hit cancel because I have not set that up yet this is this UCM is going to be deployed um, in the next week or so at a customer of mine's site and so I'm going to set that up at a later time so I'm just going to click cancel um, in the extensions uh, setting up the extensions is pretty easy you go over to extensions you just click on add to create a new ex extension uh, you can do one at a time if you'd like but you can also do a batch uh, which is what I usually do and so you know here I can go, you know, batch of, let's say, 10. Uh, increments of 1. Um, the other extensions I already previously set up were in the 2,000 range. Um, so we'll keep these in the 1,000 range just to show you how it gets set up. Um, you know, and then, um, where is that? Over here in the privilege, um, there's four privilege settings you can change. Uh, with internal being the lowest privilege and international being uh, the highest privilege on the system. Uh, when you look at this, it, it's not for local calls, national calls, international. It can be if you set it up that way correctly in the um, outbound routes area, uh, which is how I like to do it. You know, internal to me would just be wanting to do an internal uh, extension you know, from extension to extension, you know, maybe a break room or some phone that's out in the public where uh, you don't want people to just be able to dial out. Uh, locals, you know, seven digit dialing for for myself in the United States. Uh, national is uh, 10 digit, you know, 11 digit dialing and then international. Um, so on this one, you know, I'm going to I'm going to set it all to national just because of the SIP trunk I use. You know, you can make national calls. And so all the extensions all set up national. If I need to go back and change some to local only later on, I can or internal. You hit save. And it shows you right here it's going to create users 1000 to 1009. You hit OK. Takes you back to the extensions. And you can see here, you know, that I just created 1000, 1009. That's a quick and easy way to set up extensions. Um, it's really pretty simple. You know, then you can go back in and edit the extension. This is where you know if you wanted to change it back to local calling only or national. Um, I'll go over the privileges next when I do uh, outbound routes. Um, but anyways, you can put the username in here. Um, you know, you can set the password. A bunch of different settings in here that you can you can use. Uh, you can also go in here for follow me and uh, you know use this to dial cell phone numbers for the user as well uh, so anyways that's uh, extension setup um, once you are connected to your SIP provider uh, or SIP trunk or or analog trunk whatever you're using um, you want to create an inbound route and you'll see here you go you click add inbound route this is basically the underscore plus x period is you can see here uh, the different parameters that you can use uh, for your inbound routes. And so the plus X period and the X period basically allow any call to come in. And this is a great way to do some testing. And now you set it to go to your extension. I got a test phone over here on the ground, uh, 2010, you know, I'll hit save. Um, and so now you're able to make incoming calls you know I purchased some uh, DID numbers for my SIP provider and so those are already on my account and so now basically if I dial one of those numbers um, by setting up that inbound route the call will come through so we'll go no. so we'll see you can you can see that the call's coming in on this test phone I got going on. You can see that 
Um, this is the call that was coming in. The one nine two five. So this is a good way to see if your provider is providing a one before or not. If you're in the United States, um, once you got to figure out how your calls are coming in from your um, your provider, you know, with the plus sign or without. The SIP provider I use puts a plus sign in front of the call, in front of the number coming in, um, and so you can you can see that in the call log. Once you have figured out how your SIP provider sends you the call, um, then you can do some inbound patterns. If you had a dedicated DID that you needed to go to an extension, you would do that here. You basically click add, type in the number like that, one the area code five 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 one two one two, and then you can basically set that DID, you know, to go over to the say Gary's extension. Um, so anytime someone dialed five 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 one two one two, it would come over directly to my desk phone and not go through the IVR. Um, so that's inbound routes, uh, outbound routes. Got to set up outbound routes. You know, this is where. I was talking about the privileges. You know, if you set up your outbound routes this way, then the privileges go in line with at least the way I look at the privileges. You know, being internal, you can just make, you know, four digit extension numbers. Uh, you can do a pattern for that so that, you know, right here you're getting a seven digit number for the United States. You, you can just dial a local seven digit number. Uh, the nine here is because I, on this system I have you dialing nine. Uh, to get out to an outside line. Um, and so that if you're not using a nine to get out, you can erase that nine. Um, but again, this is a local pattern uh, for local calls. Um, you can see here that, you know, I, I'm stripping one digit at the beginning, which is the nine. And then I'm actually adding the one in the uh, area code to the call as it goes out. 10 digit dialing, 11 digit dialing is, is the same. You know, it's the area code, um, depending on how your SIP provider wants the calls to go out. This, this is stripping the nine in front of it um, and allowing you to dial one in the area code. This is allowing you to be able to dial 911 and then the 933 to test your 911 service. Um, so that's outbound routes. Um, if you've got any questions, you would basically go in here, you can set up you know, trunk one and then set up trunk two as a, as a failure. Um, that way, if your first trunk went down, you, you still, uh, still got the backup failover trunk available. Uh, so that's what I got for inbound and outbound routes and extension setup. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe and comment below. If you'd like to see any future videos, go ahead and Give me a comment below on what you'd like to see and tap that bell button so you can be notified when a new video gets posted. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.